Chills up, Iron Breakers. We're kind of here coming at you with another video. Welcome back to Monster Hunter World. Today I'm bringing you guys a brand new hammer mixed set. Now, the reason I'm doing a hammer mixed set right now is those of you that follow me over there on Twitch, you guys know that when I started playing Monster Hunter World on the PC, I started playing around with the hammer because I wanted to play with the weapon that I didn't really play that much previously. And I ended up going with the hammer and I had so much fun with it that I just decided, okay, my next build is going to have to be a new hammer build and it's going to have to be with a new hammer because I didn't really want to go after Diablo's Shadow 2. I already have a build for that particular hammer. So I went after the Kolv Taroth hammer. <laughs> yeah, right. Good luck with that. Good luck getting one weapon out of that massive pool of weapons. I ran Kolv Taroth a whole bunch of times. I, I could see it coming. I was just like, look, this is not going to happen. I'm just not going to be able to get this hammer that I really, really want, which is one of the reasons why I'm really frustrated with Cold Roth. So then I was like, okay, so let's look at something else. And I started looking at the Empress Mace Sticks. Now, you guys know that I like my Lunastra weapons, particularly the Xeno Jiva variant, because you can go with Razor Sharp Spare Shot on top of a White Sharpness, as well as pretty decent uh, status ailments or element, well, status ailments, it's always Blast, uh, and as well as decent affinity. So we got 10% affinity, which allows me to actually build towards crit. And then we got 240 Blast, which, you know, I'll still build a little bit of Blast into it just to, you know, just to get a couple of blast procs here and there, but ultimately blast will trigger on just about any monster, even if they do have uh, only level one weakness to it. So I want to do a good all-round set for this good all-round mace, okay? So that's kind of like the purpose behind this. It's not going to be the best top-notch super mega hyper damage set, but it is a set that is extremely fun to play, okay? I'm talking about with this set, I kid you not, I knocked out um, Arch Temper Teostra six times. I didn't really kill Arch Temper Teostra because I need a lot more practice with Hammer, but I knocked him out six times on stream, and I was just like, this is crazy. This is freaking crazy. But anyways, um, the weapon we have, Empress May Sticks, and I socket it with two Tenderizer Jewels. You're going to need uh, quite a few jewels in this particular set, as you tend to need for any endgame set, so keep that in mind. Anyways, the first armor piece that we're going to be using is the Kaiser Crown Gamma. And you guys are like, what? Kaiser Crown Gamma. Yeah, I'm, I'm picking up the um, I'm picking up the set from Arch Temper Teostra because I really like that set and I and I wanted to do something completely crazy. And you guys will see once we take a look at the final build. So bear with me. We're gonna get level two critical eye, and then we have two KO jewels. We're gonna go naturally for maximum KO. Then we got the Empress Male Beta bringing in that peak performance because we want to be able to dish out some decent amount of damage. And we're gonna socket it with one blast jewel, one attack jewel, and one drain jewel. Then we got the Kaiser Van Braces Gamma bringing in an additional three points of critical eye. That's a lot of crit for a hammer build, I hear you guys say. I know, but I'm crazy about crit. I really do like affinity, so let's keep it going. Then we got the Empress Coil Alpha. Now, the main reason we're going after this particular piece of kit is because it's got the blast attack, and it's also got uh, decent sockets, and it's also a part of the Lunastra set. And I want to get the two-piece Lunastra set bonus because that allows you to run around with a charged-up hammer for longer periods of time in order to get your perfect hit on a monster. At least that's the way that I look at it. Still brings in two tool specialists, which is not that bad, and also brings in one blast attack. And then we're going to socket that with one KO jewel and one drain jewel. Then we got the Kaiser Greaves Gamma, and you guys will notice, oh, that's the, that's the third piece of Kaiser Gamma. That means that you're going to get that three piece bonus. Yes, I am, as well as a two piece bonus from Lunastra. It's pretty damn good, in my opinion. Anyways, uh, that's going to bring in some more Critical Eye, essentially maxing out Critical Eye. And then we're going to put a Flawless Jewel in there because we want to max out that peak performance and another Drain Jewel because we also want to max out Stamina Thief. And then we wrap everything nicely with an Attack Charm. If you then take a look at the final build, you'll notice that we have Maximum Critical Eye, level 7. We got Attack Boost, level 4, which is just enough to get that... 5% uh, affinity bonus on it. We got weakness exploit level 3 because you are playing hammer. You're supposed to be hitting things in the face and the face is usually a weak spot. 
We are also going to bring in Slugger level 3, which is a must-have for Hammer, in my personal opinion. We got Stamina Thief level 3, which is also pretty damn good for Hammer. We got Peak Performance level 3, increasing that damage. Blast Attack, I can only squeeze level 2 out of it. I would like to get level 3, but it's just... I find that all of the other decorations that I have, we're just like... We're at peak capacity at this point. We, start, we gotta start making concessions. My first concession is the Blast Attack. Then we got Tool Specialist level 2, so that you can cycle through uh, Mantles if you want to. Uh, a little bit faster and we got razor sharp spare shot that comes with the weapon now the cool thing about this is that if we then go into set bonus you guys will notice that we have teostra's technique master's touch which basically means if you um if you have a critical hit it's not going to expend your sharpness and then on top of that we also have lunastra's favor bringing in your stamina cap above normal which is going to allow you like i said to run around with the hammer for longer periods of time without um without losing basically without having to attack so that you can really position yourself appropriately in order to land your attacks and the cool thing about this is that usually in most fights you will not have to sharpen with this weapon at all by default you're going to be running at 45 percent affinity if you're hitting the head you're going to be at 95 because of weakness exploit and uh pretty much with all the crits that you're doing a lot of the times you're not expending sharpness and even when you do spend sharpness you're only spending half of your sharpness because you got razor sharp spare shot so usually you don't have to pause in order to sharpen almost ever and if you do you can usually do that in between when the monster is changing zones or something you will very very rarely have to sharpen this hammer and that's something that i personally like but on top of it you're also going to be dealing crits outside of crits you're gonna be getting a couple of blast procs here and there and i don't know if blast procs influence how easy it is to ko a monster but i kind of find that i can ko stuff a lot easier than i could with other hammers like you guys tell me all of you hammer mains out there how you feel about that like test it out but i like when i got my sixth ko on arch temper teostra i was like this, this is not normal this is weird okay and I'm not even that good at playing Hammer, which you guys can probably see by the footage that you're watching in the background. I need a lot more practice to actually get good at Hammer, but I really, really like this build, and I couldn't wait to share it with you guys. So let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section below. Remember, if you guys enjoy my videos, hit that like button. It really, really helps out. If you guys uh, really enjoy the videos, also remember that you can subscribe and hit the notifications uh, so that you actually are notified of future videos that I put out. Here's two video suggestions for you guys to check out. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.